What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Touch of Modern. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the Hyper Chiller. I'm really excited because I've read a lot about this product and I hear you can make coffee, iced coffee, in a minute flat. We're going to put that to the test. It prevents dilution as well and I hear you can really chill just about anything, whether it's whiskey, wine, juice, iced tea. I've heard a lot of great things. I'm excited to open this up. So here is the Hyper Chiller. Here it is. We see a slit right here. That's where we're gonna pour into and then where we'll pour out of. And then, so just as this image shows, they have the two layers of stainless steel. That's how we prevent dilution. So you'll notice when we open it up, we have, one, then we have the next one, and then the final one. So we have to fill this with water before we put it into the freezer. There are little indents here. Let's find it. It's somewhere in here. There's a little indent for a marker of where to pour to. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's hard to see probably on the camera, but there's a little indent right there. Just letting you know how high you need to fill it. So you fill that and you screw back on. And then same thing for this next one, there's an indent right here. And then it's also on the inside, so you can see it as you're filling it up. So just fill it with water. Need a little bit more. Just fill it up to the indent, and then you're actually gonna take this and pour it into the base. And put this back on. As you can see that we have separation there, that's where we're actually gonna be putting whatever liquid we pour in, and that's how it's completely surrounded by ice. And screw this back on here. And we are good to go. Let's put it into the freezer. Oops. Now we're good to go. Let's put this into the freezer. All right, so we've taken the Hyper Chiller out of the freezer. It's been in there for over 12 hours and we have a fresh French press of coffee. It's time to see the Hyper Chiller in action. So I'm just gonna pour it right in. Oops. Ooh. You, you can actually put this just directly under a Keurig or whatever device you use. I hear some noises. All right, let's pour it in. Now you can either just let it sit as is and it'll cool down tremendously as well. But if you're in a real hurry, Swirling it allows you to have it cool down quite quickly. So I'm gonna swirl it a little bit. So you can fill it up to 12.5 ounces. Within the 60 seconds, it cools down over 130 degrees is what I hear. I'll be the judge of that. Anyone timing it? You are? All right, let's see if it's cooled down more than 130 degrees in 60 seconds. It's just about 60 seconds up. I've got a glass over here. Oh. 
Moment of truth. Oh, that's so cold. It's like it's been in the fridge for a day. What? <laughs> Clearly the hyper chiller does what it stands to do. We swirled it for 60 seconds. It, it feels refreshing. I could drink this on a hot summer day. That's incredible. The hyper chiller, I have nothing else to say but high reviews. It lives up to its name. It cooled down our hot coffee in under 60 seconds. It definitely does not taste like any dilution. And I can see how you can use whiskey, wine, juice, iced tea. Use this to chill any of those things. Hyper Chiller, for more information, go to touchofmodern.com. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our videos below. It would mean a lot to me. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. We will see you soon. Take care.